So as many of you know, I am primarily a Mac user due to my level of comfort with the Apple accessibility ecosystem. For the last eight years, my main computer was a MacBook Pro. It's been a little while since the MacBook Pro has really seen a real design change. However, that is no longer the case since November of last year when Apple introduced the new 2016 MacBook Pro. Around this time, I had plans to invest into an iMac and so I wasn't planning to upgrade my laptop anytime soon. And that's still the case because when this new laptop was announced, I was very skeptical, and not only that, but a little concerned at the use of accessibility with the new feature being the touch bar. If you don't already know, the touch bar is Apple's new addition to the MacBook Pro's design, and it replaces the F row of keys on the keyboard. Essentially, it's a narrow, adaptable touchscreen that will change depending on the user interface on screen. So it will give you some shortcuts, it will give you some dials and, and tiles to play with. It's really cool in concept, and it looks really neat. But again, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure. But this other thought that went through my head was, I grew up in the era of computers. You know, I, I grew up in elementary school learning how to type. I was always taught to not look at the keyboard. We, we would even have like a folder blocking our hands so that we can't see what, what we're typing by looking down, but instead we had to look up at the screen to learn how to type. Apple, you're kind of reversing what I, I learned for all these years by now you want me to look at the, at the touch bar and at the keyboard. Oh man. But wait, there is a feature. There's a feature in, in the new MacBook Pros that gets around this. And it's actually an accessibility feature for people like myself who was already concerned about, you know, first trying to look down and, and then, you know, the fact that I can't really even see the touch bar. So uh, my face would be like this close to the touch bar. But no, there's actually a feature under system preferences, under accessibility, scroll down to zoom, and then there's a checkbox that says enable touch bar zoom. Touch bar zoom, if you don't know, which many people don't know because I haven't seen anything on the internet, like no pictures about this yet. There's no video, no pictures, so I, I wanted to share this information because no one even knows about it. By enabling this, you just rest your finger on the touch bar. Don't even look at it. You, in fact, put, put a folder over your hands and use a touch bar. And suddenly on the actual screen, you'll see an emulated version of the, of the touch bar. And it's not only that, but it's zoomed in. And it shows you these little circle indicators where you're actually touching and where you're pointing. It's multi-touch enabled, so it can detect your multiple fingers and, and what you're trying to do, it can detect your scroll, all that. So it's really cool. I highly recommend you turn this on if you are using the new MacBook Pro, because that way, you're not looking down at the keyboard, missing what's happening on screen. This way you're, you're able to still look on screen, use the touch bar, because it, it is a very beneficial feature. It gets you quick access to some really cool stuff. With Zoom Touch Bar, if you are legally blind like myself, then it makes it easier to see, which is really cool. Just wanted to share that little uh, accessibility technology tip with you guys, because I know some people who were a little concerned about the touch bar on the new MacBook Pro and if it was going to be visually accessible or even like for people who are sighted uh, breaking the, the good habit of not looking at the keyboard when using the screen. But all is well, you can still look at the screen and use the touch bar without ever having to look at the touch bar. Hope that helps. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see a little bit about my history with Apple and then how Apple products and, and the accessibility has really impacted my life. Check out my How Apple Saved My Life video. Even got a little uh, shout out from uh, the CEO of Apple himself. And if you haven't yet, you wanna learn how to zoom in using brain waves, well, there's technology doing that, which is really cool. So check that out if you wanna learn how you could zoom in using your, your iPhone in, in real life scenarios, just using brain waves, not even having to use your finger. Uh, check out my, my Zooming with Brainwaves video, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I am uh, hope everyone's having a great week. I got a haircut. That's a thing. Um, if you guys, if you guys, you know, are excited about the new MacBook Pro, if you guys are excited about new Apple products or new technologies in general, let me know. I'm curious down below. That's always the place to go. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.